I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. I throw nothing away. I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me. They abuse and berate me cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. Well, how y'all doing? It's Papa again. I know y'all done thought I fell off the face of the earth, but I didn't. We just have been having some stuff going on around the family and it wasn't, well, put it bluntly, uh, YouTube just had to take a, a back seat to what I had to deal with and what I'm still dealing with. But I want y'all to know I certainly do appreciate each and every one of you that asked about me and when you're going to see some more videos and all that. Anyhow. This is a video that I wanted to shoot a couple of months ago. And uh, just, like I say, things come up that got interrupted. And what I've done is I've done a hack, that's what they call it, I guess, on Reese Hitch. I want y'all to check out what happens here. First thing I had to do was take out my, my hitch and let me show you what we got. What we got is Papa getting rained on. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, I guess I'll just have to back up underneath this canopy. I got the camera under the... Ah! Oh. Here's something I welded up. And... Basically... It's the same size tubing is the uh, goes in the receiver there then here's a piece on the other end that I can slide another one into What I did here is I welded a couple of nuts on, you know, after drilling my holes, and got these bolts in there. Saying to yourself, saying to yourself, well, Pop hope if you hit my lightning, Lord, I don't know. There's another cool piece I welded up. Got a little square tubing on it, welded to a piece of, I don't know, 3 8 flat steel, drilled a hole, got a 
It's got a great eight bolt and nut on it. the name Anita. Well, I can't believe all the people who watch my channel named You Need a. Uh, Papa, you need to do this and you need to do that. And you need, you need, and you need, and you need to do that. And I ain't done it. But, Papa. You need to clean out the back of your truck. Kiss my ass in my truck. Now, the original intentions on this setup was uh, for me to mount a, my chop saw. Well, so, got my chop saw here so I can cut lumber and got two to four left in the bed of the truck and, and that would be good and secure. By having a metal plate here, and bolt the chop saw to it. I also wanted to make sure the metal plate was strong enough that I could bolt the lights to it. A buddy of mine brought over some riding lawnmowers and he said they both run. And he said if, if you could get one of them fixed up for me, you can have the other. I said okay. And he's a good friend of mine, right? I've never done it. So what I did is I got me a piece of square tubing so I can fit in here. Great eight bolt with a nut. Now I do have the Harbor Freight little tire changer, but it is so sloppy. I mean, it just it's just sloppy. I'm trying to work with it. I can't do it. So I wanted something that would be a little more substantial. I wanted something that would be portable. Something I could use anywhere. Whether it be at my farm or a rental property or here at the house. I want a good, a good solid place to work. Now, I don't have the pin. You know, locking this in. in there, but, uh, the demonstration don't work. So. There's a lawnmower wheel. And. It needs a. Uh, the tire took off. Now, this bolt is the same diameter as the uh, shaft on the lawnmower. The rear may be a little different, a little larger, but this is made to fit these wheels. Nowhere. 
if I can find a pry bar, I believe I can get this power off here. ever tried to do this at home that you know <laughs> what a blessing that was right there getting these little tires off these wheels how about that spit shorts fans It ought to be pretty easy to fix. It's only flat on one side. All right. Well, that is Pawpaw's portable workstation using the Reese hitch as a base. I hope I haven't bored y'all to tears. Look for some more exciting stuff to come along. But sometimes you just have to study on things and say, is there an easier way? Is there a better way to do something? And uh, I'm going to take and warm the tires up, push that flat spot out, let it lay in the hot sun, and see if we can't get this thing to clean up and remount and find a leak in it. Well, folks, thank you for being patient with me and, and sticking around. And, and uh, watching my videos, I appreciate it. As you can tell, I'm still a little catty wampus here. Uh, hard to concentrate right now. But we'll get there. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And uh, make sure you click that little bell so you get notified because I got a bunch of videos that I've got to get done. I mean a bunch. Well, these companies have sent me stuff to review for you and uh, I also want to show you my mount for the vise and the chop saw and all that turning this truly into a modular workstation well folks y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow bye everybody